The purpose of this video is to introduce you to three of our most powerful features, dispatcher rules, tier 2 forms, and tier 2 assist, as well as a couple of their supporting subsystems. These systems have documentation pages that are linked in the description of this video, and they're also linked on their respective pages in the Help the Spuns portal. Feel free to follow along. At the very end of the video, I'll go over how these features integrate into the user experience and how tickets get put into your PSA. There are timestamps in the description to allow you to jump between the various topics I'll cover. First, let's discuss our editor subsystem for the rule builders. Both dispatcher rules and tier 2 assist work by running Python code against ticket data. But we realize that not everyone is super comfortable with writing code. With that in mind, both of these systems have a visual editor and a code editor. The code editor is exactly what you might expect. A plain text editor with a little syntax highlighting. You can use this to build your code the old-fashioned way or to make slight modifications to your code. The visual editor uses Google's Blockly interface to model code in chunks that fit together. This makes manipulating code easier for those who are not programmers and it's much harder to make a syntax error. Editing the code in one view changes it in both, so feel free to jump between these two views when editing your code. The second subsystem for these rules allows you to test your code with dummy data. The code is run live and the results are shown in this window here. If you do end up with code that has an error, the line number will be displayed and you'll be able to click on the error message to get right to the error in question. Your code is always tested before it's saved. Now that you're acquainted with these subsystems, let's investigate how to use the dispatcher rules. The purpose behind the dispatcher rules is to allow you to manipulate ticket data as tickets are being submitted to your ticket system. The example I'm using for dispatcher rules is a priority matrix. There's an in-depth discussion about this in the documentation, but the short version is we can take the selections made by the user and determine the priority of the ticket based on those selections. To do this, simply grab the priority matrix code in the visual editor sample menu, drop it in the sandbox, and make a few adjustments to match your PSA. The priority names variable should have the names of your PSA's priorities from highest to lowest, including only the ones you want users to be able to submit tickets as. Finally, you want to make sure that any changes you make to the radio buttons in the user interface are represented here. Make sure you save your changes, and you're done. Let's move on to Tier 2 Forms. Tier 2 Forms is a direct integration with Google Forms that ties submissions of your forms with your PSA through our software. First, you'll need to create a Google Form on your Google account. Here's a sample form created for this demonstration. Let's talk about this ticket ID question at the end. Tier 2 Forms can append form submission data to a ticket, but in order to do this, you'll need a question that has the words ticket ID in it. The system will fail back to create a new ticket if this question is missing or if the PSA doesn't recognize the ticket ID. Once you have your form ready, it's very easy to connect that form to your help desk button slash tier 2 tickets account. Simply copy the edit URL from the form and paste it into our tier 2 forms window. If you're not logged into your Google account, then it will ask you to do so. And you can only tie each of these to one account. I mentioned supplying the ticket ID to this form. The way this works is through our final system, Tier 2 Assist. The 
purpose of Tier 2 Assist is to provide some suggestions to your end users after they've successfully submitted a ticket. So let's set up a few rules and see how they work. Since this Tier 2 Forms integration is still fresh in our minds, let's do that one first. This particular bit of code will create a Tier 2 Assist if hiring, hire, or new employee are in the message field for that ticket. You will want to generate a pre-filled link for your Google form so we can add the ticket ID to the form when a user chooses to fill it out. This link will need some text in the ticket ID field so we can edit it in the URL. Copy the link and paste it in the tier 2 assist action. Remove this placeholder text and now you can see we have the ticket ID being added to the ticket ID variable on the form. To finish this part off, let's add a live chat app into the mix and we'll put a reboot command at the top. Don't forget to save. Now that we've seen how creating these rules work, let's see how the rules affect the user experience and how they affect tickets. I want to make sure that I put something about hiring a new employee in the ticket message. I also want to select the checkbox that mentions chat and I'm going to elevate this ticket to critical by selecting the highest impact and urgency. I'll go ahead and submit the ticket here. After a bit of processing the ticket goes in and as you can see here there will be three options for tier to assist. Reboot, chat, and the form. I'll go ahead and fill out the form here and submit it so we can see the tier 2 forms integration at work. You'll notice that at the bottom here, the ticket ID line has already been pre-populated. Now let's check inside the PSA. I'll get logged in here. Okay, here it is. Okay, and so the last ticket that was put in was the one I just put in. Now, this ticket has a critical priority, and also a note has been appended to this ticket that contains the information from the form that I just submitted. Pretty good, right? The best part is this is only a small subset of the imaginative and useful rules that you can create to automate your end users. These systems not only improve the client experience by giving your users actions that are tailored to their specific needs, it also improves and expands your own workflows. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.